Yo, what up, yo? This is MG. So, um, I'm chilling, and I'm checking out my email, and I get this weird email, right? You know, because I'm a gamer, it's E3 and all that good stuff. Well, E3's over, but it's kind of hot. Anyway, yo, back to this weird email, right? So, I'm getting this email, and the joint was like, yo, new games, new adventures, one home. And it was like, we're excited to announce the launch of Glyph. And I'm like, okay, new video game. I guess they want the fabulous MG to play it, you know, all that good stuff. And it said, our new digital client for PC games. And I said, what? Beginning today, you can purchase and play launch titles? Glyph? Where'd that come from? So it appears, Try On Worlds. Try On Worlds. The developer behind the upcoming Arc Age. The Fabulous Defiance, and of course, Rift. It appears that they're unveiling Glyph this week, a new digital game service. Glyph will serve as a digital hub for PC games and related goods from Tryon and hand-picked partners. Got a couple of those digital hubs out there today. But let's stick to this email. So, try on games. It says that today we can check out the Banner Saga, Book of Unwritten Tales Deluxe. We could look at Dungeon of Elements, The Raven Deluxe. Rainmaker, and Wasteland 2 Early Access, and many more titles from independent and global studios coming in months ahead. So, let's take a look when I checked out um, Glyph's website, alright? Hold, 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 on, hold on a second, let me, let me do this right here, and um, so, so we can so we can check it out together, okay? So, um, let's see. This is Tryon's website, right? So, um, we're looking at Trove and all that good stuff, right? Now, let's check out Glyph. Glyph, when I go there, I'm supposed to be able to get, um, Banner Saga, Book of Unwritten Tales, Deluxe, and Dungeon of Elements. But all I see is a contact us message. Maybe today meant later on. Mm, could be. All right. And then there's, which I actually heard of first, GOG. Now, GOG, I forgot was good on gaming. So I'm like, oh, we'll just stick to GOG, okay? All right. So, their pitch is, what if managing your game library through a piece of software were merely an option instead of a necessity? That's the question uh, Good Old Games is exploring. GOG for those in the know. A new PC gaming platform that promises to provide customers with auto-updating service software, and I guess service too, a player communication portal, and the ability to play multiplayer games with both GOG Galaxy, friends, and users on other platforms. I'm not quite sure what that means, though. Oh, and like everything else on in GOG's library, the client in every game that uses it will be completely DRM-free. Really? DRM-free? See, that 
that's what happens when you get uh, 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 from the console peeps. All the PC peeps is like, bump that. We know exactly how to sell, 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 sell. DRM free. It's a running theme. But yay, let's check out GOG's thing, because I'm sure y'all are like getting bored with uh, this thing over here, right? All right. So GOG, they have the thing basically, I guess, almost set up, really? But see how they have it like up here? Watch this, watch this. They have it right here. Truly gamer free, DRM free. Oh, truly gamer friendly. Duh, I can read. Go, go, go. Um, truly gamer friendly, DRM free online gaming platform. Now, all about this. This is talking about a um. It it's a desktop client, and you know we're basically used to that, right? So um. We have a few desktop clients out there, don't we, boys and girls? First, we had Uncle Gabe's great creation. Uncle Gabe! With Steam. Probably one of the dopest creations for gamers out there. It was dope for me because trying to get those Valve games and updating them were a pain in the tuckers. Anyway, hmm. You tried to take your computer and install Blue Shift without Steam. Yeah, challenge. Anyway, all right, so we got Steam. We got EA's Origin. We got Ubisoft's Uplay. Now we got Tryon's Glyph. And now we have GOG Galaxy. All right, no, can't pick up your phone now, but watch this. Now, all of these have similar themes. A community. And DRM free. Okay? So, I'm asking myself. As you should be asking yourself. Do we really, really, really need all of these services? Well, okay. Technically, we need Origin. And why do we need Origin? Because EA isn't letting Valve really sell any of its new games when it comes out. I mean, Ubisoft is okay because you basically need you play to play the games, even if you buy it on Steam. You still gotta log into you play to play them. Nah, they got gotcha. you. But um, let's take a look at all these services, okay? Oh, let me go for the screen drink all right so first we got good old steam with sales for days man gotta love these sales man look at that man mm, 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 mm. makes you just want to game and then we have origin now origin is hot you know what i'm saying I, i'm digging them a little more because you know they have that free games on the house you know surprise me nope still just got plans for zombies but it's all right um, <laughs> then we got Uplay. Now, Uplay, I, I don't have any love or hate for Uplay, but Ubisoft is my favorite publisher. It just is. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows Ubisoft, especially Ubisoft Montreal Studio. Mwah. Hot to death, kid. Word. Then we have... Oh, yeah, this is iGame2 TV. Nah, plug. Anyway, back to me. I mean, us, I guess. All right. Well, I guess we don't need that. All right. So, we have all of these different ways to get games. And each of these actually have different free content. You play basically all the games that they have for demos or for free. They'll be on Steam, basically. EA... They may or may not be on Steam, like Battlefield 3. Got it for free on Steam. What, was it last week or the week before last? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, but got that for free. Plans for Zombies already bought on Steam, so, you know, hey, whatever. Um, but is it going to be like when a game comes out, you have to have that client? So we're going to have, like, eight different, well, now we have one, two, three, four, five different um 
clients out there that we need to um, play games. Humble Bubble, Humble Bundle, yeah, Humble Bundle doesn't really count because you can buy from there and just put that joint in your Steam joint. So it's not like it's a big deal. It's it's not like a client. It's just an online purchasing service that you can help the kids and that you can help people out with and stuff like that. And, and give, give, give for gaming. Anyway, so yeah, basically that's all I want to talk about. All these different things that I don't know if it's meant to confuse you or is it just to take down Uncle Gabe because he's gotten too powerful in the gaming realm. So they're coming after you, Gabe. They're coming after you. Hmm. But, hey, choice is always good. May lead to some confusion, but it's always good. So, I digress. Let's get your opinions. Do we need all of these different clients to play games which one is your favorite client mine is still steam um ea just came up there a little bit not because battlefield 4 doesn't still have all those th problems but because they gave away a free game i guess that gives them a few kudos right eh, maybe just a little bit anyway all right so as always subscribe to the channel like the channel and um oh yeah Share your content on, um, what we got? Share your content on, um, iGame2TV. We, we, we saw that, right? Share your content, iGame2TV. It's all, it's, love is love, baby. Love is love. Share your content. And if you want to check out the latest gaming news, check out, um, GameOfCulture.com. It's always a cool place to hang out. You know, I, I, I like it there. I hang out. Maybe you'll come and hang out with me. Anyway, yo, this is MG. Find me, friend me on Steam, all that good stuff. Like I always say, or actually, me and my homies always say, the more the merrier. Keep it gaming. All that good stuff. Um, that's about it, yo. Um, keep it gaming. One.